Water transportation is super important because 40% of the world lives within coastal communities. The sea glider is really a mix between a boat and an airplane. You took the two, smashed them together. They combined the affordability and accessibility and convenience of a boat, of ferry transportation, with the high speed and long ranges of an aircraft. The sea glider has three modes of operation. It can be floating on the surface of the water, driving around in the inner harbor areas. It has a hydrofoiling mode where you're up above the surface of the water on these stilts. So the passengers and the, the vehicle is insulated from any waves. The last mode is the fly mode. The sea glider is powered by 12, about 100 horsepower electric motors and propellers on the leading edge of the wing. Those are all fueled by battery technology. Hydrofoil is a technology, it's still pretty early days, but the uh, advancements in hydrofoil technology are balanced by advancements in electrification, as well as digital sort of driving and aircraft management. And when you pair those three advancements together, you create a really unique time for hydrofoil. There's really two ways that you control the sea glider. You have a power lever and a side stick joystick. It's very intuitive, much like driving a car or driving a boat. As the battery technology advances, or as we get other sustainable forms of energy storage and power, like say hydrogen power, we can upgrade these systems. So this actually has the opportunity to service a huge fraction of the planet.